In this video, we're going to learn how to create a load velocity line graph, also known as an RM equation. To do this, we have to go to the tab all the way to the left, and we're going to select the athletes with which we want to create a line graph. We're going to use these two and the exercise with which we want to create it. Let's say, for example, this one, front squat. By default, it already comes with a default RM equation, which we added ourselves, but we know that this data, even though it may be well adjusted, is not the best for each athlete. Therefore, we're going to create a personalized one. To do this, we have to click up here to the right on the plus sign, and here we get some information. We hit continue, and we would start with the first athlete and the first registry of data. We click. We add the weight we're going to lift with. This is a, a guide. You don't have to strictly follow it. You know what the goal is here. It's not the same if you're a power lifter or if you practice soccer, for example. If you're a power lifter, you might want to start with 80% RM or 75% RM. It's up to you. We're going to use 200 pounds for this example. And we're going to start. We're going to simulate a few reps. Okay, and we could move on to the next athlete to do his second registry. In this case, we're going to do it with 220 pounds, and the same. We're going to simulate a few reps. We go back to the first, and we're going to add some weight, 250 pounds. Now since I'm doing it by hand, it's possible I won't get a perfect line, but this way I can explain a few things. 250, let's go with this one, and we're going to use 270. And this way we begin completing each of them. Okay, with this one we would have finished, and the last one. For example, here we go. Okay, now that we've done, now what we've done is complete the four registries with each one, and here it tells me it's a bad equation. It appears in red and this is an equation that can be improved. This is because we did it by hand and the weights and velocities probably make no sense. Things we can do here. Well, the first thing we can do is modify the 1RM velocity since by default it is set for this exercise at 0, 32. And if we know that 1RM velocity, we can change it, be it because we're done using our 1RM or because we did a set all the way to fail and it picked up the velocity of the last rep or whatever. Well for that we click and set a slower velocity. For example, let's imagine we know that our 1RM velocity is 027. We would change it and the estimated 1RM would change. And this indicator would also change, which I didn't mention before, but it's usually called R squared. And it's the correlation between each one of these points because it generates an equation, which would be the one that we saw at the beginning. And this indicates how good or bad the equation is. In this case, it's quite bad. Okay, what can we do here? We can edit any of the records if we wanted to. We could repeat them if we think we could do it better. For example, this record here looks pretty bad, so we click, and we're going to repeat it with 300 pounds, and we're going to go a little slower. Okay, 040. Okay, we've improved the equation a little. Let's change this one too. Okay, 
Well, it's not the point of this video to make a perfect equation. For that, we have other practice videos, but to demonstrate functionality. Let's imagine instead of repeating it, we want to edit it. We swipe left and hit edit. And we could, for example, if I had done more than one rep, we could choose whichever one we want, whichever was the best out of the set. And here we can see it sets our velocity. And if we want, we can change it manually, the weight as well as the velocity. For example, let's say we messed up and it was 290 pounds and it wasn't 040, but 045, for example. We hit save and we can see how the data has changed. Also, it could be that we have the velocity line graph already created on Excel. Well, editing each record, we could change each of the weights and velocities. And once we're satisfied with the velocity line, we could hit save. And here the line would appear for frontal squat, front squat, under each one of our athletes with the recorded data down here. What else can we do on this screen? We can, what we can do is change the equation. For example, let's imagine we have it set to the one we just used and we don't like it and we want to go back to the one we had before. We click on it and select it and now the 1RM will be esti estimated using this equation and not the other. You have to remember that in the new training session area where the 1RM is estimated, it's done using whatever equation has been selected. With this athlete, it would be using this equation, which was the last one that was used, and with this athlete, it would be the one that is set by default because that's what we selected. And this is everything we can do with the 1RM equation.